Hello, and welcome. Ahoy, ahoy, and welcome to Ruby's Markove. And yay, I did not forget to unmute my mic today. I'm so proud. Today we are playing some more Shop Titans. Just got this new update. I'm also going to set up some hotkeys because I had a little bit of difficulty selling yesterday with the mouse. So I want to set up the hotkeys. Right. I hope you guys are doing good today. Okay. No, nope, I'm doing this the wrong way. Go here. Now I put suggest. That becomes seven small talk. Becomes four and refuse. Becomes one discount. Becomes nine surcharge. Is six and sell. Any guesses on what we're doing with Cell? Good job! It's three. Okay. Small talk is four. Surcharge is six. Discount is nine. Suggest is seven. Sell is three. Refuse is one. And Wait, we'll make zero. Didn't have that on the list, but we'll make that one zero. And those are my selling, my customer interactions. I need to figure out all these. that I can do this easier on the computer. But let's give this a try. Let's see, seven. Oh, oh, thanks, I hate it. Don't use seven. Just, just don't even do it. No sevens. Oh, yuck. Automatically. Okay, I can only use seven if the thing I want is in the space. Otherwise, I actually have to use the mouse. So then we can nine, three. Okay. Okay, not bad. Nine, three. That works a bit better.
Awesome. Get some organization on this. I'm so pleased that I was able to figure out how to stream this. It's awesome. Still got a really nice event going on. So we're able to sell things. Get more for it. Surcharge things at cheaper energy cost. <clears throat> this trifecta event is tight. As you can see, I am trying to master some things. I have quite a bit to master since tier 14 dropped. And they just added more to tier 14. And right before tier 14 dropped, I was like, I've mastered all of my items. I need to maybe get some new items. And I got Roxanne. No, no, I had Roxanne. I got the summoner. Yolanda. I got Yolanda. So I got cloaks and I got summons, familiars, and made it to about tier 7 or 8 in the ch each of those chains before tier 14 dropped and I was just absolutely overwhelmed with items to master again. So that's been interesting. I am focusing, like, prioritizing surcharging out 14s because when the event isn't going on, I can actually surcharge out the 13s and the 12s. I'm also getting super low on inventory. 
which is crazy because two days ago, I had over 800 in my inventory. And now I am in the 300s. That is quite a difference. <clears throat> so the things that are easy to surcharge out kind of get shifted out for things that make it a bit more that are difficult and I can only do surcharging at this event But because I've been sitting here doing so much selling, I am absolutely getting to the running out of things to sell point. Let's see how much is in my inventory. 386 out of 894. So my inventory has absolutely started to plummet. Hey, Tempe Tastic. Nice. 175 from 514. That's amazing. That's amazing. I recently pulled out a new uh, bin, like inventory bin, because I wanted more space because I was getting super full, especially during like the Caprice and like not the Caprice, the City of Gold and the Tower of Titans, those two events just absolutely slammed my inventory and it was exhausting. So I went ahead and shift, did a bit of rearranging to get that higher. And it's been nice, but that does mean I still have to sell. And like, I, this is the best event for selling. Especially when I've got a shit ton of advanced research to get. The frenzy one is nice. Customer frenzy is great. Having so many people come in constantly is really helpful. Especially when the inventory is super full. It's like, oh good, you're here. Take something and get the fuck out. <laughs> Take it and get out. Take it and get out. Alright. Okay. No okay. No alright. No okay. 
I have to actually say kudos to Kabam and the Shop Titans crew for making the research scrolls worth a damn again. Because I had over 10,000 research scrolls for so long that it's been an absolute shock to me to realize I'm down in the 200s now. Actually, I think I've got 256. I have enough to get one more advanced research. But from then, I'll actually be shooting from the hip. Now, I'm down to 288, which is crazy, because I, I had over 10,000 at one point. And so, like, kudos for the advanced research making the research scrolls a useful item again. Honestly, I've just been fusing them into ascension shards. Dang, I would give you some, but I've only got seven. Sorry. <sighs> Trying to figure out where to send a new party is always so tedious. Okay. You go there. Also, take an XP booster. Cheers to the new crew! Oh, wow. Wow. I managed to get all of my new recipes unlocked, but that absolutely blew me through it and made it where I'm gonna have to build up for the, the others, for the advanced research. <clears throat> Got to make space in my inventory for more components. How often do you have to sell down or do you just let your stacks get ungodly big?
You just let them grow hard. I do that with rare things that are hard to get a hold of, like opulent and luxurious components. <clears throat> but I'd rather sell them on the market for a bit of an upcharge than let them auto sell, sell at base value. So I at least get a little on the top for it. Ooh, auto surcharge. Nice. Ah, 103. Okay. I think I've got all the base ones then. Oh, hell yeah. I guess I can take the tier eights that I've been working on off of my fusion list because that's been specifically to fuse research scrolls into ascension shards and I can't do that anymore I need my research scrolls so let's uh take that off Interesting how things change. I've already fused all of my luxury, opu opulent chunks, luxurious chunks, uh, golden, golden chunks into opulent jewels. Some of these new names are interesting.
Argo. Enjoy time with your nieces. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy this stream. Add those swords to the rack. <clears throat> oh, I feel like this stream is going so much better. Yesterday's was still a bit glitchy, in my opinion. Shop Titans has been a struggle to try to get to stream. And uh, using the full screen seems to have made a huge difference. Yesterday I still had uh, my Monterey Bay Aquarium live stream running over the top of it and it's too much work for the computer to run a game, an OBS live stream, and pull in a live stream from YouTube to put onto the the OBS live stream. So I I'm I'm I've got a friend who's supposed to take me some underwater videos with her GoPro, so hopefully I can get a really nice video that loops well that's underwater to use as the overlay for my stream. It was really disappointing when uh, it was super buffery yesterday and did not like the live stream of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I was a little sad. So at the moment I have a really bad picture of bubbles scrolling up.
To change the picture on the TV. I have the computer hooked up to our TV, and the TV has Shop Titans on it, and I can't see these blueprints that I don't have. Like, they look like empty spots. They're so faint. Ah, that's better. That's better. Now I can see them. Yeah, I don't think that changed anything for you. Just made it easier for me to see what you can see. All right. Was thinking it was super bloomy yesterday. <laughs> awesome. That looks better. So many resources. This is Mustachio, my guild, and this is me, front and center, the guild master. In the newest survey that they had, I asked them to lower this position because it bugs me how tall I am. I can't wear my fun hats that I've picked up because it hides Resi Jr. behind me. <clears throat> and I feel like I'm being rude hiding her and her adorable mustache. Like I don't want to like I don't want to hide the people behind me. So I asked them to either lower this position or offset the people on the second row so that I'm not hiding her. Like, I have to keep my avatar tiny as well because if I went to, like, full size, which I originally started as an Amazon character, but when I realized how high I am in the guild leader position, I was like, oh my gosh, now I have to make myself tiny. And with Hun's asleep, his cloud is no longer covering this position. So we can see Thane back there. Okay, that's kind of weird. I, they're, the teeth aren't normally the same color as the skin. Okay. Sure, Shop Titans. That might as well happen. Exactly! Exactly, Tempe Tastic. Like, they've got the third row offset to the second, so there's minimal issues. Like, why didn't they offset 
the second row to the first row and offset all of them in that pattern. Like, I don't understand why two of them are in, two rows are in that pattern and, and one isn't. Like, you've got plenty of space, rearrange. Just, just, just fucking rearrange and fix it. It's not that, not that big of an issue. It just, it, it frustrates me that I'm hiding people in my guild. I don't like that. Makes me feel like a bad le guild leader for wearing my big fancy hats. <clears throat> and like, if I put on the cute witch's hat, like, Rezzy's just gone. Another thing that annoys me about it is this motherfucking wallpaper. Why is the basic rat eaten wallpaper what we have in our fancy guild hall? I, like, in the survey, I suggested that they attach changes of, like, visual changes to the guild hall to the guild level. So, it updates as your guild grows. So, like, when you first start a guild, you get the crappy rat eaten wallpaper. But then you upgrade to, like, wooden wallpaper. You get cabin wallpaper. And maybe some stone wallpaper. Uh, you know, then eventually later on you have like the luxurious and the opulent and the platinum and whatever else is about to come out because you know they're about to drop another chain in the opulent, like, luxurious line. <laughs> but, the, like, I don't know, we do a lot of work decorating our shops, so it's irritating that the guild hall is so basic. Uh, just random rant. But honestly, even with that, like, I still absolutely love this game. Okay. I also miss the early rendition of the bookmarks when you could organize your bookmarks. And, like, I could bring all of my spirits and elements together by taking the bookmark off and then putting it back on. And then it would go to the top of the bookmarks list. So I would occasionally organize my bookmarks so that I could see what things I was working on at the top without necessarily having to start them. But now you, you can't just do that taking it away doesn't move it to the top of the list. It just stays in the same fucking position.
Once I get this next surcharge out, I am going to take my circulation break a little early today because I need to take a bathroom break, which is part of the, my life when I'm not feeling well. I have had multiple abdominal surgeries, so I frequently have to go to the bathroom a lot. Alright, <clears throat> I will be back shortly, take a bathroom break, smoke them if you got them, get up, move around, shake it out, do a little shoulder dance, get your circulation going. Got lots of different options on circulation. Enjoy your circulation break, I will be back shortly.
And I'm back. Hope you guys enjoyed your circulation break. Hydrated. Moved around so your blood can get flowing. About time to pick up my deluxe ramen stack. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh. Yes, I am putting my requests in at an up charge of what they're valued for because I want them to be filled. And the way I look at it is I'm paying for two separate things when I buy, particularly the tier 11 deluxe ramen. I'm paying for energy and the experience that I'm getting from selling it because you get the same amount of experience whether you discount or surcharge it's there's just a base experience value and you can get things that give you more experience but it's uh in different areas so i pay more for my discount fodder because i want the experience i'm getting from selling out a lot of it <clears throat> I'm guessing the black box around my profile up here is because I'm on the first loop because they just the new update you can now get to 100 and then reset back to level one and go through them again that's an interesting update <laughs> yeah, the experience curve, like, I'm glad I went ahead and got some of it because I actually think that I might be done with experience for a minute. 
Like, I did get a few of them in the advanced research. I've got one, two, three, four. Five. So I have five of the XP uh, boosters, which has has actually made a difference. I've been able to see the difference it's making on how fast I'm leveling up. So it's it's been really helpful with these five. But realizing where I am now with my research scrolls. It's time to, like, I'm going to get the energy ups on everything next. Rather than continuing through the line like I have been. And getting one and then the other. That's a king sale. Get the fuck out with that. What? Why is that on my shelf? It's not supposed to be. Let's get you out there. Sure. Have a hydra. Bounty complete. Oh, I need to do that. Damn it, I need to do that. But I have to make blue tier... S no, green. Green tier 7 elements to make that. Not there yet.
Oh, wow. We... Wow. Okay. I was thinking that we were doing pretty good. Tier 7 on Wednesday. Have to do the three void minister habits. Let's leave that there. So hopefully I remember to do that thing. Already got like six of those bad boys, but whatever. We'll do some more. I love the pets. They're so cute. Although, I can't have my chicken out because it makes me rage against my customers. I think the chickens are absolutely adorable. But I go absolutely apeshit on anybody who comes in and tells my chicken that it looks delicious. They... Get sent the fuck out. As soon as they make it up to my shop, I'm like, get the fuck out. You were talking about having chickens. You you are not eating my pets. Get out, you crazy motherfucker. You may have nothing for my shop. I was like, I was like, I the chickens are so cute. Can can I see your name? I wanna see your chickens. Like, do you mind if I look at your shop? I would love to see your chickens. Like, yeah, I just, I rage so hard when people come in and talk about my chickens looking delicious. And I lose sales because I'm so mad. So I can't keep my chickens out. I Like, I, it just, just, it drives me bonkers. Yo, he's hitting Ashley kind of hard. Cool. I am absolutely on my way. I realized I had this, so I pulled him back quick. So they could start resting for another battle. But yeah, I'm absolutely going to check out your chickens. The chickens are so damn cute. Which is why it makes me so mad when they talk about trying to eat my chicken. Chickens are friends, not food. I say, and I had chicken for dinner last night. <laughs> they got it, but Ashley's probably gonna die.
Ashley might survive after all. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was close. He got that last hit on her. All right. Okay, chickens. Why would I want to create another guild? And no. Stop that. Okay. <laughs> hey, Coda. I didn't realize you were listening. Are you home? <laughs> Tea biscuits. Nice job on your health and your bounty trophies. And your mastered and your ascensions. Heck yeah, you're doing great. Oh, that's a really classy looking shop. I like that. It takes time, and, like, in my guild, the way I tend to run it is, like, it's important to invest in yourself. And the more you invest in yourself, the better you can invest in the city. Because you, you hit these thresholds that money just comes in a lot quicker. And once you hit that threshold, it's so much easier to just dump money into the town. So, like... It's important to invest in yourself. You can't fill from an empty cup. Invest in yourself and then your town. Those are adorable. Your chickens are so cute. They're precious. They don't look delicious. They are adorable. Okay. And you were only doing two stores today, right, Coda? Slappy, Clucks, and Clucky. Love it. Love it. Is Clucky the gold one? Awesome. Well, congratulations on finishing your first store and good luck with your second store okay the gold is flappy so it would be flappy clucks and clucky if i'm reading that correct ah they're cute awesome yeah the chickens are cute as hell Awesome. Well, that's really adorable. I like that setup. Nice. Lovely shop, Tempe. That shop is Tempe Tastic. You're welcome. I'm pretty sure it was the void. Those on.
Not sure if you're still here, Coda, but the hotkeys were a good idea. My only complaint about the hotkeys is that the suggest button just switches in the thing that is shown in the suggest box. It doesn't bring up the menu to look through. So I still have to go in and find that. But once I switch out for what I want, it's actually easy to navigate. And I'm not, like, accidentally clicking the wrong thing. So good call. Thanks for that suggestion. Okay, good luck at your next store, and I will see you after. Love, love. Bye! <laughs> This one seems to be doing better. I recently used the Shop Titans... hero tracker to uh, update all of my heroes and get their skills to where all of their skills are green or or yellow based for them. So I've recently re-rolled all of this the purple and red and orange skills so that they all have better skills and it's actually been interesting to see how much better they are like I, it took me a while to motivate myself to do that because I have so many heroes and so when they dropped the new hero tier I didn't want to get rid of anybody because I fully seeded everyone I've fully, uh, like, given them all Titan Souls from that. So, like, I don't know. It was very difficult to be like, I need to get rid of these characters. 
but I finally did it. I finally picked three and got rid of them so that I could get the new classes. Yeah. It, it was hard. It was definitely hard. And it's like my investment into those characters that had already been put in there is why it took me months to motivate myself to really get in there and do it. Like, interestingly enough, I actually put the characters into the t hero tracker a few months ago, but then was like, oh my gosh, that's so much work. It's so tedious. Ooh, boost. Yeah. That's how I did it when I put my new ones in because the rest of it was too much. I did not need to put all of their seeds in there. I did, I like, honestly, the only thing I'm really using that for is skills. So the level, so it knows what level they are and how many skills they're supposed to have. And it was actually really interesting because I leveled my three new people up together so I would get them to their next skill level and then I would go change the level to their current level so it would give me the next skill and then I would add their new skill and re-roll it until it was good or great and then I would level them up some more. So I actually got their first three skills before they ever went on a battle and that was pretty neat. But it really is useful. I absolutely felt better about it after I finally did the re-rolling of all those skills. I, like, when I finished that, I was like, oh my gosh, I've been needing to do that for so long. And it actually feels really good to have all green and yellow smiley faces on, on all my skills now. So that's, uh, that's been nice. Like you were saying yesterday, those little bits of progress just feel really good.
66%. I mean, I've still got probably a month or two to go. Oh, leveling up takes forever at this point. <laughs> Maybe more. It's coming faster since I got those experience increases, but it's still pretty slow. <clears throat> I look forward to getting to 100 and resetting because I really want to see how many levels I get from selling a level 14. Like, I'm gonna wait my first sale after I reset back to one is gonna be a 14 so that I can see how many levels I get from selling a 14 <clears throat> that's me plan I planned it It's nice how quick I make money these days.
Like, going through my racks, I feel like I'm getting low on stuff. But when I look in my inventory, I realize I've got quite a bit. I'm not really that low. Most of my stuff is in stacks. And I try to only keep, like, one of a stack out rather than filling. So I've got access to a bunch of different items. connecting to chat. Why did you disconnect from chat? Why are you being so weird, Twitch? Don't disconnect me from my own chat room. That's rude. Got me worried that my stream reset. The other day I had a internet glitch where my stream stopped streaming, but in OBS I didn't stop going live. So in OBS my stream continued, but on Twitch I stopped my stream and then restarted my stream, so my stream was actually split into two videos that day. And I was just like, what the f Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Now I have more videos. Look at me. Power streamer. Two videos in one day. Sure, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna make out one of those. I'll take that instead. I've got, yeah, got daggers. Should take that instead. You just gonna sit around and wait until I decide what to do with you. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That should be a stack of twelve items. Nice. 
Yay, leveled up. Dorothy reached level 32. Julian reached 32. These are my new guys. And Daisy reached 32. I guess I missed one because I think I counted 12. Cool. Yeah, I didn't think you guys would like that. <laughs> or that. Oh! Hmm. So hard to find good places to send these guys. Hmm? Alright. That is not a big experience boost. Just do it. <clears throat> Have you been checking the web store to pick up the weekly giveaway stuff? This week's giveaway is 15 Argon coins. But if I'm not mistaken, it changes tomorrow. Maybe it's tonight at 7 or at the reset time. And then it's going to change every day for the five-year anniversary. <laughs> nice, nice, that's cool. Probably should have done that. I've just got the web store pulled up in my browser, so every time I open my browser, I just am getting in the habit of going over and looking at it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I can go ahead and get my next one. Screw it. I'm just gonna go through the list and get the energy surcharges. <laughs> that is by far 
the lowest amount of research scrolls I've had in probably a couple of years. I was above 10,000 at one point. It is wild to be out of them. Kudos, kabam, for making them useful again. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> It's safe to touch. <laughs> it's a lot better than you look delicious. Why? Disconnected and reconnected me to chat again. What is... Am I losing signal or something?
Twitch says I have excellent live. So weird. Another thing that's really helpful for making money is the <clears throat> price increase on items that are double enchanted. That's been a really nice talent point. There's two. Fine. I'll give you that one. Take it and get out. Ooh. Take it and get out.
Ooh. Right, that seems like a good place for a circulation break. So, move around a little bit to get the circulation flowing. Hydrate. Smoke them if you got them. And we will be back soon.
<laughs> oh, I forgot to turn my mic off. Well, I'm back. I pulled out something I don't want out again. That is a king sales. You may not have. Oh. I don't think workers, if, are you ta talking about the crafts folk from the town? Because they will buy, uh, food as an additional item. And I, I think it's random, like, they do occasionally take colorful ones. I think they also take common ones. <laughs> Uh, and it's not the workers or the craft folk who do that, it's the champions. The champions do that. Yeah. I, there's so many different classes, I also get things... Like, I go through the roll call of the different categories of people, but yeah, it's the champions when they come in and request a thing they will ask for additional items that's actually actually why i use the uh desserts and meals as my discount fodder because it's an item that most uh classes of heroes will also accept whereas most of the time like items are very specific to classes uh food items are generally accepted by all classes so i use the food as my discount fodder because it's a double chance of getting to sell it to the people and the workers Ch champions, the champions. Yeah, I've really liked the addition of food. I've also liked the ability to decide what you display on different racks. Because it's been really interesting. From the beginning, we called these the candy racks because of the interesting food-like items that end up on this rack. Go back to 
some earlier items. So you've got your potions, your drink stuff. And then you get into like the healing salve totally looks like chapstick. <laughs> then you've got flint corn bundle, like some foods for your candy rack. So we just started calling it the candy rack. So it was very entertaining when it actually changed so that you could like they added the food products and we were like, oh, they those go on the candy rack. Of course they do. That's exactly where they should go. And then we were able to actually make like a food display. So I've got a food display right next to the counter. <laughs> Uh, that new food needs to be equipped. <clears throat> Even the king will pick up a food item on the way out occasionally. Uh, and I've had the king pick common food items as well. Which means there have been days where I've sold him three items. Because I have the thing that lets him buy two, which I think is a worker. I'm not sure. It might be a talent point. But the king buys two items from me when he comes in. So there is a random chance that he decides he wants a food item as well. And so I have lucky days where he comes in and buys three items from me. Oh, another one. Okay. Giving me all the streusel. Uh, that is the new blueprint from the City of Gold that just happened. That is the final reward in the chain. Like, I don't know. I could get it. It wouldn't hurt me that bad. But I have so many blueprints already that I don't really want them. <clears throat> and I don't currently have a platinum blueprint to work on. So I don't necessarily need the platinum stuff either. Good job! That's awesome!
there are some events that we finish and we make it most of the time to the original end of an event because these three are the added extension to the event so you said you got up to 20 gotcha it's it's tough getting to these It definitely is. And you need everybody participating. And, like, we don't always have, like, uh, vacation season is happening right now. So there are people that are not around. I'm also not a, uh... aggressive guild keeper where it's like you have to do every event i understand that there are some events that absolutely piss people off for me it's the tower of titans the tower of titans has been the bane of my existence since it started i've just been in exactly the wrong level place for that event every fucking time when when it first started, I was at the very bottom of the top tier. Like, I was the level that the top tier started. So I couldn't beat the tower. The next month, they changed it. They upped it like three levels. Well, I'd made three levels that month. So yet again, I was in the very bottom of the top bracket and could not beat it so it actually took me a lot of hero work and a lot of time to get myself to the point where i was actually beating the tower of titans and i was like cool finally doing it then they released epsilon and damn it it screwed me again and then they released the tower and i've made it to floor 29. 29 in the tower. Oh, I was so happy when they finally made it where you could choose which tower you start on. That is one of the best updates to the Tower of Titans. That actually takes away my hate. Like, uh, my hate against the tower is not really relevant now because you can choose which tower you want to take on. And that was a very smart move on Shock Titan's part because I was so pissed, so pissed. So even now I'm still kind of salty because I've made it to, to floor 29 of the Tower of Terror. And I like, I think I redid that battle, like the, the battle for number 30, like seven, eight, ten times and just kept fail failing no matter how I shifted my parties. Like, I blew through a lot of boosters trying to do it. Like, I... The fucking tower. Every time they change something... In, the only change that they've made that's made me happy with the tower has been adding the ability to choose which tower you want to take on. So, like, that was absolutely a good move on their part for the tower because the tower has been the bane of my existence. And... People in my guild have different opinions on which event they hate. One person hates the Caprice because it doesn't let them make what they want to make. Which, I love the Caprice. I like taking a step away from what I've been working on to actually get a chance to, to just randomly make different things. So, like, I like the, the Caprice. Uh... Somebody in my guild doesn't like the City of Gold, which has been my favorite from the beginning. I think that it's got really good, like, it's one of the, in my opinion, one of the best community work events where we're all, like, able to send parties to the city and bring back the gold bars. 
So, like, from the very beginning, I actually built my parties to run the city of Gulf. So, like, I've loved that one since the beginning. But some people don't like it because they need to be, by, like, sending people out to quests to level up different uh, quest areas or collect components needed to craft items. So they don't like having to, to send all of their people out to the city of gold so it's interesting to see the like uh, this game really fits a lot of different play styles and i think it's neat to see different play styles and which aspects of the game uh people are drawn to heard i'm gonna be honest repair kits is actually why I'm a king merchant. You get a lot of effort put into your fancy clothes and then the stuff breaks and you run out of repair kits and it, oh, that, that's a sad, sad moment running out of repair kits. I feel for you. <clears throat> like, for a long time, I kept, uh, stacks of common equipment and spirits and elements to equip my people when their stuff broke. But as the equipment expanded from like level 9 to 10 and all the way to 14 now, that's not as easy to do because they take a lot longer to make than when I was keeping stacks of tier 9 equipment on me. To replace things. And I've got a lot of glowy stuff now. And that shit is expensive. To get and equip. So I feel you on the repair kits. I, I break the most stuff in the Lost City of Gold. And I, I think that's just because I feather people, like, bring everybody back, feather them, and send everybody right back out again. So everybody's running consistently, as opposed to now when I'm letting people rest up. I just had some people finish resting, but I've still got two to th two or more hours on other people resting. And I've got some parties who are out. So, like, I kind of rotate them except in the lost city of gold where everybody's going full out the whole time so that just that does break so much equipment And everybody having their preferences on different events is why I don't I, I don't hold it against people if they don't do as much on an event. Uh, some people have difficulty with the dragon event because they don't have enough equipment to load into the the ship, and that's fair. Like. Right now, I'm in a place where I don't have, a, like, I've got a lot of random equipment, but before the drop of tier 14, I was actually spending the month making stacks of the best for each category, so by the time it would get here, I'd maybe need a few more in each stack for the final day, but I'd have most of my supply to load on the ship by the time the event started. But since I've been working on mastering all of the new equipment that has not been the case at all 
They're just getting whatever random shit I've got on me at the time. <laughs> Yay, I've gone up a percent. <laughs> I know. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I think I'm back up to about a percent a day. I think before the the advanced research, I was getting like a percent every few days. Maybe like three or four days to get one percent on my level. I feel like my stream is smoother than yesterday, which is nice. <sighs> Trying to run a live stream in a live stream was not working well, which honestly makes sense. It's a lot of information circulating in and out. And that's why I'm still in the testing phase of streaming.
I am not going to be on too much longer because I need to get ready for trivia. I have a show tonight. I think we're leaving around four, so that's half an hour. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out today. This has definitely been fun. You're welcome. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate getting the views and even more so, like, I love having conversations about this with people this this game is a lot of fun so it's nice to be able to talk to people about it so many fandoms are so niche now like games like this aren't really mainstream so i don't you don't just randomly find people who are into shop titans so it's exciting to be able to find people who are into Shop Titans by streaming Shop Titans. I am going to be done there. This has been lots of fun. Should we raid somebody? I don't really have a lot of viewers in here right now. I feel like I should be raiding when I have more people. So we will just be done here. Thank you guys for coming in. Have a great evening and I will see you next time. Oh, Saturday, keep an eye out because if things work out well, and by that I mean the power doesn't go out and we don't lose internet, uh going to be live streaming my band Saturday. So, cable management coming soon. Thank you, Tempitastic. Trivia is fun, so I should have a good trivia. Have a great evening. See you guys later. Bye!